this is this is it. After like being homeless in California before I moved back here and hand sewing like two beanies is just to like be able to pay to come back here, I'm like, okay, this is it. I made my first piece in eighth grade in like kind of the CTE home ec class. I think it was like an apron for my mom. And then I that's like the next thing, it kind of wasn't sewing, but I would like distress pants, like denim pants with my brother and shit. Took a break from it, maybe like 2017. I dabbled in it just a little bit, but I'd say I started taking it seriously 2019. When I moved back from California and moved in with Josh and his parents, and that's when I started taking it like, seriously, yeah. Just like a lot of sacrifice and it's helped me get through a lot of stuff. And I love doing it, it's not even, it's not a job, it's like, it's just whatever, I wake up and do that shit. No, it's really not. Um, I like, I don't know, I like working with my hands, I like building things, you know what I'm saying? I'd be down to build birdhouses, man, I'd be down to, like, I help my mom with her garden, I like doing that, working on different canvas work, trying to incorporate, like, fabrics from, like, uh, my clothing into, like, canvas work. I mean, I'm trying to get into fishing. There's just a lot of ways. There's always going to be some way to express myself, and there's, like, so much to learn, you know? I like the pace I'm going. I'm not trying to rush anything, you know? I'm on turtle time, just trying to soak in everything I can. Oh, shoot. I've been trying to do something with my boy, Utopia, uh, Cho. Just a really busy guy. But that would be super dope. Go out there to LA, link up with him, get some shit popping. I want to do another collab with Josh, of course. We've been talking about that for a minute. But just some artists that I've never like, that I've never met out here too. You know, there's a lot of it growing. There's like the scene's really growing. My boy Topher, Topher's universe. I forgot what state he's in, but that'd be dope to collab with him too. And just some like some artists out here that make music, work on some merch with them or something. That's what I want. I think the first collab that I did with Josh and Mario, like the three of us, that one's like really dear. But there's just so many. Like that one, that one was a big one. Because it's pointless to just hold that knowledge in. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be doing that same thing for a long time. Someone else is going to take over. You're going to learn more, want to move forward and go on to other ventures. So why like gatekeep or whatever? Like. Everyone's allowed to like have to like learn, bro, and just gain knowledge. So I feel like it's kind of weird. And like, if someone's asking you, like, the most simple thing, like, oh, yo, I saw you did this, I've been getting into it. You got any tips or like, you got any th words to say about this? And like, where in your right mind is it? Do you just like, oh, no, bro, you should just Google it. Like, you should YouTube it. Like, that's pretty fucked to me. So I don't know, there's not much thought behind it. Just like do it, you know? Just just help, yeah, just do your part and help each other. Help each other like move forward, like move up. We're all just trying to do better for ourselves and like people we care about. So it's just pretty simple. Learn about me through my art or like, you know what I'm saying? Just pay attention. Like different, different pieces, like carry different feelings, but yeah, I'm coming. I haven't forgotten you. <laughs> yeah, still like the same, you know? Just like a kid, like, oh, there's my PSP right there. I'm just the same goofy self. I'm just like, I have a lot more knowledge and way more calm, but yeah, just stay, always stay true to myself and just built upon it. I just say, yo, we're doing good, you know? I didn't forget about you, like, that myself up. Be like, oh, yo, we're like the best blunt rollers, too, bro. Like, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would say. Shout out to Noah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a good mobile machine. Go crazy. Made this backpack with that machine. So yeah, good little Boro backpack. Well, it's not that little, but... I like the way Capital Global does their stitching, so I wanted to try to see if I could do a Boro style stitching. It's a Japanese style that they like to use. And I just really like how they, they upcycle too. And they do some crazy work, so I wanted to make a Boro style backpack. 
and the buttons i just was i was just looking at all these button-up shirts that i had because this is like fully recycled backpack and i just kind of went at it and freestyled it and made the pattern mm -hmm. No, so my boy Utopia, the one that I said I want to like go collab with out there, he made a saddlebag. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna see if I can make a saddlebag. So I tried to make my own pattern, and I like doing it. And I dropped a little collection of them with uh, they they spelled out Akuya within like three bags. So it was like A K O U Y A, and I don't know, they're fun to make. So I added it to like little arsenal. I don't know, I'd probably be an architect and like living like in a super like minimalistic house on the beach or something, go fishing and just as long as I got Wi-Fi and a place to, I don't know, design, I'd probably just do some type of arts, still doing arts. I don't know, just different patterns I see. I'll just like out and about. I don't know, me and my older brothers like uh, share like opinions on clothes too. I like like, I like Japanese fashion too. I just like have crazy dreams too. I just try to like create what I saw. But that, yeah, that's where it comes from. What kind of dreams? Yeah, pick one. Bro, like I'm in the future and like Star Wars is fucking real. But I'm like Boba Fett, but I have super cool ass pants, like super cool drip. Because everyone else, like, if I was a droid, I'd just have, like, plastic. Like, the most I could do is change the color of my plastic suit. But I got, like, some crazy-ass cargos on, bro. And I'm like, fuck, what do those cargos look like? I just remember part of it. Then I try to just make it. First piece I sold, um, it was a beanie that I, I made that, uh, I hand stitched onto. It was like uh, the Block is Hot t shirt uh, from Lil Wayne's like album. It was a vintage tee, and I cut it up and I did like patchwork on it. And I sold that. It was like a, it was like a set though. I customized the New Jersey, the Jets, yeah, the Jets football hat. And I took a patch from a shirt, a skull patch, and I hand sewed on there. And I made it a pocket so you could put like backwoods in there. And I took a picture like that. And those are the first things I sold. And I used that money to come back to Utah and live with Josh. No, dude, I sold it while I was homeless. Like, dead ass. I sold that shit. I was just sewing my hand. I sold it to, like, some fucking, like, just kids on the street, like, around my age. And I just made my way to L.A., took a Flix bus, came over here. And Josh picked me up from the fucking Greyhound station. And we just fucking been going stupid. Took forever though, bro. It took like fucking 18 hours to get over here. Like I stopped by Vegas because that's when we had like a little break, and then we had a break like four hours out. But I kept on posting my like my screenshot on the maps and shit, and posted on my story like, oh shit, I'm coming back. Like it's been like a year, almost a year. It was pretty cool, man. I just ate a bunch of food along the way, and just smoked weed along the way. I brought some weed on the train. <laughs> yeah. 